Hi, my name's Scott. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing and testing out this portable electric kettle. We're going to be making some hot chocolate. So, you can do a uh, boil water for tea or coffee. And you can keep the water warm so it boils and keeps it warm as well. This is what it looks like. Now, remember, once it's boiling, keep your hand away from here because this is where the steam will come out and you can burn yourself. It says, please do not immerse in any liquid. So if you're washing it, make sure you're careful. Power plug goes right in here. I do recommend cleaning out the inside first. Give a good scrub down before you use it and then make sure you get all the soap out. The lid just simply twists on and twists off. Power supply will be inside here. Let's get started. Since you're not supposed to submerge it in water, I recommend getting a cleaning brush like this, which you can get on Amazon as well. And then you just put soap in it and you scrub it. Adds a little bit of water. If you're making just one cup, I recommend filling your cup up with water first and then pour it into the boiler. That way you, you know, don't waste any water plus you get the perfect amount. So we're going to say like right about there. And then we just pour this directly inside and now we can heat it up. What I like about this is you can use it with a solar power bank. So we're actually going to be powering this with free electric, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on to the AC. It gives it power. Now we just press. There we go. So it's now on. Press it again. It's boiling. There we go. And it lights up blue. Now we can see how many watts it's taking. 234 watts. You guys can kind of get an idea of the wattage. So if you have a power bank system, you then know how high it goes. It looks like it's... Okay, so now it's heating, probably heating up more. 240 watts it's taking, which is not much at all, which is excellent. So we'll just leave it be. We'll let it boil. If it goes above 240 or 250, we'll probably, probably go to 265, 275 to be safe. If it goes higher than 275, I'll let you guys know, but we're going to let it boil. Okay, it changed from blue to like a yellowish color. That's pretty awesome. So according to the manual, blue is 32 to 122 degrees. Yellow is 123 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And red is 159 to 212 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna wait until it's red and, bo and we can hear it boiling. And the watts have not gone over 245 on our system. Keep in mind, as soon as it turns reddish orange, that doesn't mean it's done. Let it do its thing. That just means it hit the that uh, lower lower temperature. I think it was 159 degrees. So we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so there it's done. Because our power... Okay, no, it's, it's still heating up. So it's going to maintain that heat now. So it cut power to this because it hit the temperature. And... It, you can see the watts stopping and starting. Now it's just going to maintain that temperature. And it'll kick on. There you go. It kicks on. Heats it up to that temperature. So it is at 212 now. You can hear it kind of tick on and off. So it's ready to be poured into our hot chocolate. You can see the steam coming out. Be careful, the water is very hot. Now we mix up our hot chocolate. I recommend leaving I recommend leaving the lid open that way it can cool off. And then turn it upside down once it's cooled off to let the water run out and dry, air dry. And just like that. Makes it a very nice portable boiler. 
for whatever if you need if you need to boil creek water great you can do that to make it safe whatever you want to do this is going to work great hey there little buddy now we add some marshmallows mmm delicious